Good morning again. Today I am joined by Lynn Mitchell from the Safety Office. We're going to be talking about ergonomics. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. Now, what exactly is ergonomics and how does it apply to Anniston Army Depot? Ergonomics is the science of fitting the job or the workplace to the worker. Um, often people wonder why it might be important to the Anniston Army Depot. It actually affects both our industrial and non-industrial sides. 35% uh, of our injuries last year could be contributed to an ergonomic type factor such as overexertion. Um, so it's a, it's a good area to focus on in that it impacts all aspects of our operations. Okay. So everyone here on the installation might have the potential for ergonomic issues. Yes, both the office setting and the industrial setting. Okay. So what are some of the risk factors that are associated with musculoskeletal disorders? Uh, musculoskeletal disorders, those things that affect our tendons, our nerves, our muscles. Um, risk factors associated with that would be things such as repetitive work, um, pressure points or excessive force, awkward posturing, uh, anything that's going to put excessive force or um, focus on those nerves or muscles. Okay. Now, how can those types of injuries be prevented? Uh, it can be anything from um, lifting aids to redesigning the uh, work process flow to make it um, less movements required to uh, things such as simple as repositioning your body uh, okay. to reduce the stress, keeping things in a more neutral position. Okay. Now, who should we call if we want an ergonomic assessment, if we want to have those items looked at, or if we need some additional training? Uh, first, I would say get with your supervisor. Um, if it's something like a new chair that is needed, uh, they can contact industrial hygiene and get a form to get uh, any new equipment that's ordered. Uh, they can also contact industrial hygiene to do an actual ergonomic evaluation of the workplace, which would be calling extension 6865. Uh, they can also call the safety office at extension 7541. Um, but I would say the first thing is just stop and evaluate your process, your task, what you're doing. Um, think about it. Is there a better way to do it that can reduce uh, the strain on your body? Keeping your body in a most, the most neutral position possible. For instance, if you're typing, not tilting your wrist up, but keeping it straight, that keeps it in a more neutral position and limits the amount of excessive force. If you're doing a lift, Make sure you lift with your legs, keep the load as close as possible to your body. Instead of twisting with your feet planted, pick your feet up and turn to twist. Um, things such as that can do a lot to uh, limit ergonomic stress. So really if we think through our processes, if we look at what we do, we might be able to reduce some of this strain on ourselves anyway. Yes, just slow down, think about the task before you do it. Good. Thank you very much for coming and speaking with us this morning. Like you said, this is something that can literally affect every single person on the installation. So it's always good to have these reminders. Yes.